Hey pilots, Plasma 1945, spoiler alert. This is the spoiler for this video. Look at those trees on the right side of the cockpit. In each of the two split screens of the video, you can see the effect of DLSS balanced on versus DLSS off. And we're going to look at DLSS on and off in DCS World version 2.9 on a system that is very common within the DCS World community. This system is a 3060 Ti NVIDIA video card, a 12400K processor, and the only change is that it's at 1080p MSA on, on the right side, no DLSS upscaling on the right side. All I did is I turned off DLSS and that automatically turned on DLAA and we have balanced DLSS performance and quality. One thing you can do to improve your DLSS sharpness and I think overall sharpness is crank up that sharpening to 0 0.39 or 0 0.5. All right, so we're flying and uh, as we're flying, make sure you guys hit subscribe and let's compare. So left side, MSA two on, no DLSS. Right side, DLSS balanced and TLAA, which is a way to smooth jagged edges. Now, if you've ever flown in DCS and you did not have MSA turned on or TLAA, what you would end up with is jagged shimmering edges. Well, in DLSS, TLAA does it, but it does it through a different method by basically taking multiple frames and kind of stacking them together. Now, one thing that is happening in the flankers is you get that ghosting effect on the HUD with DLSS turned on at any level of quality. CPU usage and performance is similar, but there's about a 5% gain overall on the DLSS side that I've seen. 5% being like five to 12 FPS in the best case scenario. And very often it's pretty much level. So we're coming up on the ship on fire here. And if we compare side by side, the FPS is almost the same, maybe two frames per second faster. And yeah, that five to 12% that I've seen, that's really best case scenario, but there is a degradation in quality outside of the cockpit. Now in the flankers, you get that blurry HUD, which is the numbers in the HUD there that get kind of streaked and blurry. You do not get that with MSAA on the flanker. And also you don't get that with F-16s. However, one thing that is going to show up is the drop in quality on the outside objects. For those of you who are wondering what is DLSS, to lighten the load on the video card, NVIDIA's figured a technology where the game, DCS World, will render at a lower resolution and then through AI push that resolution up into a higher quality. But remember, if you're inputting at lower resolution, the output is going to still be degraded no matter how much you use AI to upscale it. But in theory, it does put a lower load. So this is at 1080p and it's a pretty typical configuration for most folks. I mean. Uh, 3060 Ti, that's about like a 2070 Super, uh, maybe like a 4060, 4050 equivalent. And uh, the 12400, I would say that is equivalent to like a 9700 processor or maybe like a 8700K, maybe a little bit faster. But, you know, this is kind of a entry level system here. And as you can see, there is definitely some blurring happening. When does this occur? This usually will happen in cases where there's motion, DLSS will struggle, as well as fine detail. So we're talking power lines, details and leaves, details and foliage, stuff like that. That's where DLSS really struggles because it takes a lower input and cranks it higher. And again, with these trees here, as we fly by them again, and you can see them here in super slow motion, you can see like how all the detail in the foliage is gone on the right side with DLSS because literally it's rendered at a lower resolution. It's rendered actually at 720p, not 1080p, and then AI brings up the quality. And uh, there you have it, guys. That's the comparison and only a small improvement. Let me know if you get any better improvements. And of course, as always, fly safe, folks.